the BioCore lab. This is a short video that will help you get to know the lab, find where things are located, and get a general feel for how labs are going to flow this semester. Let's start off with a few lab etiquette tips. Room 341 is where we'll meet each week for lab announcements and other pleasantries. We will not be performing any wet lab experiments in this room, so it's okay to bring food. The BioCore laptops are stored in the small lab behind the chalkboard in this room. There are two rules that have to be followed when checking out a laptop. The first, always put your student ID on the shelf when you take a computer. And the second and most important, always plug the laptop back in when you're finished using it. The BioCore labs are accessible after hours by use of the key boxes located outside each door. Don't forget to return the key right away after you open the door. If you're going to be in the building after hours, be sure to carry your after hours building pass. The lights in lab are controlled by motion sensors. When you enter the room, the lights turn on automatically. They also shut off automatically, so please don't turn the lights off when you leave the lab. Now let's take a jog over to room 334 and see how that lab is laid out. Room 334, affectionately referred to as the Daphne Lab, is where we'll be conducting all of our wet labs this semester. Accordingly, you should never bring food or drinks into this room. You'll be needing lots of materials throughout the semester, so let's start off by getting to know where things are located. Finding something in a lab full of drawers and cupboards is often a daunting task, so we've named our benches to help orient you. The bench at the front of the room is called the front bench. The three benches where students sit are called the student benches. The bench at the rear of the room is called the back bench. And the benches to the west are called the island bench and the reagents bench. Each of the sinks in our labs have a faucet with just one handle. This is where you can obtain deionized water. Paper towels are located above the sinks. If you should need to replenish them, you can find more in this cupboard. Gloves are located here, and extra gloves can be found in this cabinet. Also in this cabinet are first aid materials, rinse bottles, and extra slides, cover slips, and lens paper. In the next cabinet over, you'll find pipette tips. Remember that these tips are sterile, and when you remove a box from this cabinet, be sure to take off the sterile indicator tape. If you run out of tips, or compromise the sterility of the box, please place the tip box in the bottom of the dirty glassware cart at the front of the room. Extra chem wipes and parafilm are in this cabinet. Tape and sharpies can be found in this drawer, and you can get goggles from this drawer. A fire extinguisher is located at the end of this bench. Here's a short tutorial on a newly developed technique used to clean Asclepias solivantii seed in the BioCore lab. If there's something you can't find, we prefer you ask an instructor for it 
rather than search around through drawers and cupboards. In the event you get injured, no matter how minor the wound, be sure to let an instructor know about it. An eye wash station and shower are located in the north hallway of this building. If you should break any glass in lab, a broom and dustpan are located under this sink. Broken glassware, used slides, and pipette tips go in the glassware box. Used slides and tips can also go in the used slides and tips jar. But never put other waste in this jar. All dirty glassware should be rinsed out and placed on the dirty glassware cart. Be sure to remove any tape first. You'll likely have opportunities to make your own solutions this semester. On the reagents bench, you'll find an analytical balance and a drawer containing the materials for solution preparation. Also on the reagents bench are instruments for measuring pH, sodium, potassium, and dissolved oxygen. These meters are here for you to use, but it is critical that you follow the posted instructions each time you use them. Misuse of this equipment is highly probable if you don't follow the instructions and will likely result in permanent damage. Behind the reagents bench is our ice machine. Ice is always available if you need it during lab. The prep room is for staff only. If you're looking for your debonair lab manager, you can often find him in there. Simply knock on the door and say, Hey sir, are you in there? Please do not enter the prep room unless accompanied by an instructor. We've designed this room and our curriculum to give you a highly autonomous and self-directed learning experience. With this freedom comes the responsibility of keeping the room clean, orderly, and safe. Please respect our equipment, the lab space, and each other so that we can continue to offer this unique experience that is... The BioCore Lab. The BioCore Lab.